I'm Dr. Ramesh. I'm from the Internal Medicine Department of Manipal Hospital. I specialize in infectious disease and HIV infection. I'm speaking today about immunization awareness in connection with the WHO organizations. Awareness week on immunization on the last week of April every year. I propose to deal with five common myths which I have seen both among the general public as well as among doctors regarding immunization. The first myth is that it's not necessary to immunize an adult anymore. The reason being, they feel that pediatricians have already done the job or they should have done it anyway. And by the time they become adults, they have encountered all the common infections they are there to encounter. So the first myth is it's not necessary. The reality is far from that. We see many patients who have so-called common childhood illness to give you an example, chicken pox, measles, mumps, as well as cough, not to speak of other major illnesses, which occur in childhood, which we see in adults as well. So there definitely is a role for prevention in these cases, and immunization is the most cost-effective method of doing so. The second myth is, this is not effective, it is not necessary. In any case, we have very good antibodies in treated, why bother to them? all these vaccinations. The reality is antibiotics are not very effective. In fact, you might have heard of many multi resistant organisms and they are not as effective as immunizations. Remember, prevention is always better than cure. Number three, as a corollary to this the second one, most infections can be treated with antibiotics. Immunizations cannot do anything at all. They cannot replace antibiotics. This is not true because there are two infections which I can come to mind. One is rabies and second is tetanus, which are treated only by immunization and nothing else. Then the other myth which we see is that they are costly, they are painful, they have a lot of side effects, and I can't spend my time to take immunization. But the true reality is they are much cheaper than the treatment which follows. Second is they are much less uh, uh, painful or as the basis is the surname is minimal and the value for money is much more. And the last is if you think of radiation, they are not readily available, have to go to the doctor, have to buy the chemist, etc. Which is not true. All the vaccines are available. And in fact, I would strongly urge everyone to get immunization done and keep the record steady. To conclude, I would say that it's a choice which you have to face. Are you going to print on this or will treat it? The choice is yours. I will be putting myself out of business. But I personally feel an ounce of prevention is worth a ton of cure. Thank you very much.